What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 insane WWE backstage moments that were caught on camera. This should be a very interesting one by WrestleMania. Um, this is the time period we live in where you have a little bit more, uh, I guess you can say, opportunities to see what happens behind the scenes or backstage that we couldn't really see um you know back in the day like in the, the attitude era or whatnot other than the segments and stuff that uh you, you know they allow us to see like those pre-planned backstage interviews and brawls and stuff like that now everyone has a phone and it's, it's really easy for someone to record something happening that probably wasn't meant to be seen by the public eye uh public eye so we're gonna check out some of these moments appreciate all the love and support man let's get right into this one when the WWE Network launched in 2014, it changed the way fans saw the WWE product. With the network, WWE began to allow fans to see behind the curtain with immersive documentaries that highlighted and that too, the documentary stage. Too. Before 2014, seeing anything of this nature was extremely rare and was uh -huh. only usually seen in specific documentaries such as the infamous Beyond the Map film. Shows such as WWE 24 have shown fans backstage moments that truly needed to be seen to be believed. And it's truly wonderful that they were captured on camera. Mm -hmm. Join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 insane WWE backstage moments caught on camera. Subscribe to WrestleMania if you haven't already. Man. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 10, Goldberg and Triple H embrace at WrestleMania 33. It's well documented that Goldberg and Triple H weren't exactly the best friends during Goldberg's initial WWE run. Mm. However, when Goldberg returned to WWE in 2016, it looked like both men had fixed their relationship and a wholesome moment between the two legends was captured on camera. Thanks to Goldberg's 24-7 episode, we saw Goldberg backstage at WrestleMania 33. He was set to wrestle Brock Lesnar and he seemed to be in a fantastic place both mentally and physically. As Goldberg was getting ready to make his entrance, he walked up to Triple H with a huge smile on his face and they both embraced. Oh, that's a nice moment, like man. Goldberg asked the game if he's ever seen him smile this much and Triple H hilariously replied, never. It's a touching moment that showed that's that dope. any bad blood between the two had completely gone. Number nine. And that's how it should be. You know, you bury the hatchet, whatever egos and issues you had back in the day. You're both still in the business. You're both making some good money. Let, let, let bygones be bygones, man. Brock Lesnar offers support to The Undertaker at WrestleMania 31. Now, I don't think I've ever WWE seen this 24 one. WWE 24 that focused on WrestleMania 31 was a special watch as it allowed fans to see The Undertaker behind the scenes. In one of the most notable moments of the episode, The Undertaker is seen getting ready for his match with Bray Wyatt. And that's when Brock Lesnar comes up to The Undertaker, looks him right in the eyes and says, you're going to get some. Lesnar and the Deadman have been friends for over two decades, and this was Lesnar's way of motivating his friend ahead of this huge match. This moment was extra special because Lesnar had ended The Undertaker's mm -hmm. WrestleMania win streak the year prior, so it was fantastic to see that the two all-time greats had such a strong rapport. Number eight. And that's, once again, this is their job to make you believe like they don't really like each other or whatever the case may be, and they're putting on physical pain in the ring but when they get behind that curtain nine times out of ten well i wouldn't say nine times out of ten i would say depending on the wrestler or whatnot and how long they've been in the business and their relationship with each other for the most part they're they're pretty cool pretty pretty cordial with each other probably some are even actually good friends so you know it's it's just crazy seeing that once they get behind that curtain how Everything kind of changes. The Miz receives medical attention at WrestleMania 27. When WrestleMania 27 had gone off the air, there was immediate concern for The Miz. The Miz had suffered a serious concussion during oh, his main event match damn. with John Cena. And yeah, I did forget about that. That's why he, his head did hit the ground. Jeez. This led to Miz wrestling the final stages of the match completely out of it. Jeez. The Miz's edition of the WWE 24 showed fans what The Miz went through following WrestleMania, and it gave a close-up look at what WWE's Jesus concussion protocol Christ. was back in 2011. Miz is medically evaluated in the clip, and even The Rock looks incredibly concerned. Once a medical evaluation is completed, The Rock and The Miz embrace, and The Great One offers some great words of encouragement to the WrestleMania main eventer. Number and, and once again, I know people like to give 
you know, the Miz hate, but you got to give him respect. He's done a lot in the business, bro. He has. And you can only respect someone that wasn't meant to make it. For a lot of people in the back, when he came from the real world, reality TV, he was not meant to make it. They didn't want him to make it. And let me say it like that. He was meant to make it because he's there now, but people backstage, they didn't want him to make it. And he did. So you got to give him credit there. For seven, Vince McMahon shuns Kevin Owens at WrestleMania 33. And one of the major disappointments of WrestleMania 33 was the match placement of Chris Jericho versus uh -huh. Kevin Owens. The match itself was fine, but the rivalry and story heading into the match deserved more than the second match placement at WrestleMania. Facts. Due to the placement on the card, fan interest in the match wasn't exactly high, and Vince McMahon reportedly hated the match and called it one of the worst matches he's ever seen. During Kevin Owens' WWE 365 documentary, Owens can be seen asking McMahon if they're good backstage, and McMahon replies, no. Damn. It's a fascinating insight into how the WWE talent looks for the approval of McMahon, and how McMahon is never one to shy away from his opinions. Damn. Number six, Edge hypes up Dominic Mysterio on That's Spotify. crazy. He just, nah, we're not good. Ultimately, I do think they fix things and patch things, but at that time, damn. I just really think they really should have. I think that should have been for the title. That, to me personally, I think it should have been for the title. Uh, I enjoyed the story they were telling with them feuding. They used to be best friends. Now they're feuding. I don't know, man. They they had something there. I just feel like they kind of dropped the ball with it. Smackdown in 2021. In the summer of 2021, fans were finally allowed to attend WWE shows again. The COVID-19 pandemic meant that fans were previously prohibited from attending WWE events, but this was now changing. WWE captured tremendous footage backstage from the first SmackDown back with fans, mm -hmm. and in the footage, Edge is hyping up Dominic Mysterio. This was to be Dominic's first ever match in front of fans, so he was obviously nervous. But mm -hmm. Edge, along with Dominic's father, Ray, were both there to assure him that he would do just fine. The trio would go on to wrestle the bloodline in a thrilling six-man tag in front of a red-hot sold-out crowd. Of course. Number five, the Hardy Boys return at WrestleMania 33. Now, this was a WrestleMania great WrestleMania was moment, bro. The return of Matt and Jeff Hardy. The two would return as a so complete great. surprise and even ended up winning their Raw yep. Tag Team titles. <laughs> Footage from the WWE 24 special shows a camera crew following the duo ahead of their return, and as they're about to make their entrance, the two have an intimate interaction with Vince McMahon. Firstly, Matt goes up to McMahon, and McMahon rises from his chair and gives Matt a huge hug. This is then followed by Jeff doing the same, and in an emotional moment, McMahon simply says, Welcome home. Damn, it's a touching man. moment because Matt and Jeff had been through a lot of personal turmoil in the past decade. So yeah. it's great to see McMahon welcome one of the greatest tag teams of all time back That's... with open arms. And it's crazy they're not there anymore. I mean, they'll probably end off their careers in AEW most likely, which I'm okay with. Number four, Snoop Dogg gives The Undertaker a gift at WrestleMania 39. Snoop Dogg has notoriously always been a huge <laughs> WWE fan, and his hosting role at WrestleMania 39 received widespread praise. We love Uncle Backstage Snoop, man. From Snoop Dogg's love his at custom titles, too. How much he truly loves Look at that. WWE. In the footage, Snoop Dogg walks up to The Undertaker and his wife Michelle McCool and hands them both a gift. The gift appears to be a necklace of some kind, but it's not just the gift that makes the moment special. Snoop Dogg offers flattering words towards the dead man, but also towards Michelle McCool. That's Snoop awesome, Dogg man. Snoop refers to McCool as a queen. Taker and McCool are visibly stunned by Snoop Dogg's That's awesome, it's man. It's incredibly rare to see The Undertaker showing so much raw emotion. That's Number because, three, man, both they're both legends. They're both goats in their respective fields. Everybody respects and loves The Undertaker, and everybody respects and loves Snoop Dogg. So that's, that's a... I've never seen that clip, man. That's a wholesome moment. I love to see it. Roman Reigns announces his cancer has returned at Raw 2018. This was a very emotional the moment here. The 22nd, 2018 Ooh. edition of Raw was very a emotional. watch. During the show, reigning Universal Champion Roman Reigns announced to the fans that his leukemia had returned. This moment sent shockwaves throughout mm -hmm. the wrestling world as it was naturally serious concern for Roman Reigns. They captured the moment backstage in which Reigns returned through the curtain following his announcement and it's hard not to watch the footage without being emotional. The first person Reigns walked up to is Triple H. These two have always had a thriving relationship mm -hmm. and the two even main evented WrestleMania 32 against each other. Reigns proceeded to hug Shawn Michaels and Paul Heyman and before Reigns knows it, virtually all the locker room is waiting to offer their support and love. 
It's that's a beautiful, a beautiful moment. Highlights. Beautiful Just moment. Reigns was and continues to be perceived by the locker room in WWE. Number two, Brock Lesnar beautiful moment. launches the Universal title at Vince McMahon at WrestleMania. We've seen this one. Once <laughs> shit is this will always be a funny ass moment. Once again, Vince is regarded as this the be all end all in WWE. You know, well at least back then it was. And the fact that Brock was displeased with how that match went and everything else, he just launched the title out of him. Like, he just did not give a crap. Take this trash. I don't care. Anybody else do that, they probably are getting fired or future endeavored, or they're going to get buried down the card. But Brock is the one person that can get away with that because what, what's Vince going to do? You're going to fire him? You're going to fire your champion? He knows he's the... He, at that time, was his biggest draw. So it was like, that's crazy. <laughs> and the main event of WrestleMania 34 was a total letdown. Brock Lesnar collided with Roman Reigns. One of the worst the main, title, main event matches of all time. Was fans had zero interest no in the No one cared. Match. Everything Lesnar and Reigns did in the match backfired as the crowd heckled both men. And this evidently flustered Lesnar. Yeah. When Lesnar got backstage, instead of walking up to Vince McMahon and giving him a warm gesture, he proceeded to launch his universal title right at Fuck. Vince McMahon. This was reported a few hours following WrestleMania 34 going off the air, but it seemed too far-fetched to be true. Yeah. However, when the WWE episode aired focusing on WrestleMania 34, footage of the incident could be seen for the entire world to witness. He's legit through What's it. What's insane about the footage is that McMahon calls Lesnar a curse word following the incident. <laughs> it was rumored that there was a commotion with Lesnar and Sha You son of a bitch. <laughs> McMahon, but unfortunately, that wasn't captured on camera. And number one, Eddie Guerrero celebrates backstage at oh, No Way Out 2004. Man. No Way Out 2004 featured Classic. one of the most celebrated moments in WWE history. The beloved Eddie Guerrero captured the mm -hmm. WWE title in an all-time classic match against Brock Lesnar. Due to the significance of this moment, WWE released footage of the reaction backstage when Guerrero came back through the curtain. This was unprecedented at wow. the time, but WWE would use the footage for future documentaries relating to the legend himself. When Guerrero came through the curtain, the entire SmackDown locker room was waiting to greet him. That's how popular Guerrero was backstage. For sure. Him winning the title felt like a huge victory for the fans, as well as the other WWE talent. The backstage footage of Guerrero also contains a clip of Guerrero calling his wife Vicky. In the clip, Guerrero thanks Vicky for standing by him during his battles with addiction. And it's truly a oh, beautiful man. moment that makes Guerrero even more endearing, not just as a wrestler, uh, but as a human being. That hits the feels. This is why Eddie is the GOAT, one of the greatest to ever wrestle, man. We miss you, Eddie, man. Rest in peace. We miss you. This is... Ah, this video is great. I, I'm getting a little emotional. I was not prepared to get a little bit emotional. I definitely am. Only because it's like, yo, we're really witnessing, you know, we, we got to see some of these heartfelt moments that you normally don't see. You don't see these moments. So when you get those moments of people showing love to each other before or after a match, it's it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Even Brock Lesnar throwing the championship at Vince McMahon and getting Vince McMahon to curse him out a little bit. That's beautiful too. But comment down below. Let me know your favorite backstage moment from this video. If I had to choose, it'll probably be that Eddie one is tough, man. That Eddie one is is uh, that that Eddie one definitely hits hits the field feels. But I, I do like them the Matt and Jeff Hardy one. Vince hugging them and saying welcome back home to to uh Jeff. That one that one definitely hits the feels too. So y'all let me know y'all favorite one from this video. I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150k and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Channel of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.